Hello, it's Simon Sutton George from Tenerife Property Group, and today we're going to look at something that is not for sale. I'm just trying to see if I can see it behind me. It's a really old house, sort of just up there. I can't quite see it. Anyway, we're going to have a walk up there and we're going to have a look around. It's the first time I've ever been inside it, so I really haven't got a clue what we're going to find inside it. I don't expect there'll be any dead bodies, but well, you just never know. Let's have a look around. That's the property up there you can see, I think. You can just see in the middle of the screen there. So I've got to walk up that road there. There's some other interesting things I'm going to show you as well while we're going along. So let's just see. Fair way away. Let's just have a look. So we've still got a fair way to go up the pathway here and across up to the house there. But what's really quite interesting, I don't know if you can see it, have a look. You see the rocks here? See how they're all lined up? That's obviously terracing for the land, for that house up there. I mean, that one there is obviously brand new, it's made of block. I suspect they didn't get planning permissions, they had to stop. But that one there, had all of this land here in front of it so for years and we've been growing stuff on this sort of terrace in here there you can see some terracing going into the into the brush there and some more across there you can see it through there so they've all been flat sort of terracing here so you can see the line of the Really, really good, good line. Look at that. I mean, that's all been done by hand. It's fine, absolutely amazing. There's more to come yet up there. So there's the house up there. And there, just here, you see the flat top there is a water tank. So that would have fed all of that land down there. Where all the terraces are there so there's another one of the lines of rock here making another terrace I don't know about it looked to be about I don't know 15 or oh, some are less than that but the size of that spider I if we can get it in there I don't know if you can see it massive spider in there um, some of the terraces are about five meters, some are 10 in depth, you know. There's the water tank there. So the water would have come down, probably piped from miles up there. You can see some water pipes up there. And it would have been piped into this tank here and something else next door to it as well. See the wall there, just amazing up here, loads of history. Quite a steep climb, reasonably steep anyway. There's the house, really, really old, really, really old house. And there's that new one across there, but I mean, that's of no interest to me. This old one is really interesting. See if we can get in there. I just hope I don't scuff up my new shoes. I've got new shoes on. But anyway, let's have a look. There's three pipes there. Look. Anyway. Alright. We're over. I don't suppose you can hear it, but lots of noise is coming from my right and from my left of things scurrying away I don't know how close I'm going to get I've never been here before I've been past it loads of times but I've never been close right inside the house and I certainly haven't been this close before I can safely say that no one actually lives there Let's 
see how I'm going to get in. Let's see if there's any sort of pathway to get in. I might have to wait. If I can't get in today, I'll have to wait until I get some, some uh, jeans and some older shoes on. Because I really don't want to ruin these shoes. All these little animals flying away. Well, I have an idea I can get through there, but get around there. It just looks really interesting. Those walls are just amazing, aren't they? How they're so, look at them. So square. Do you see the line? I don't know if you can see it there. That line just going down there of absolute perfection. I just think it's absolutely amazing. I'm sure there are plenty of people who switched off by now, but um, showed no interest at all. But for me, it's just amazing. I'd like to try and get in there. I'm going to try, I think. I'll soon stop if I can't, but... Lots and lots of uh, cactus. Oh, look, we're getting there. easily go over here some more squared off rock there and a squared off rock you can see that they would have been a quarter or something it's amazing so that looks like it would have been a wall coming out of here probably that's all falling down that's the thing that just amazes me seeing that and there's still roof on it which you can see from the other side paint there as well when I come up I see this paint and you'd think to yourself why would they have paint on there but I suppose they must have done made it a bit more colourful inside perhaps maybe it was a bedroom I thought it might be a little bit easy to get in to see things in here but it's got a lovely view if someone was buying it that's a nice view but no one's buying that it's a shame something else up there as well I've not seen that before probably another water tank and there right at the top I don't know if we can see it here but right at the top in fact I've got some film of that as well so I'll put some in there probably just around here there's a in that sort of area up there maybe we can just see it that white sort of, not the white building right at the top, but halfway down the hill, in between this white roof here that we can see. Halfway up, ooh, halfway up around here probably, is the um, great big tap, where I imagine they would have let the water in and out for the whole of, um, for the whole of the town. If you want more information about it, then go to tenerifepropertygroup.com or you can email me at simonsg at tenerifepropertygroup.com. So that's me, Simon Sutton George at Tenerife Property Group. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.